So I came into the workshop today with a very specific goal, and my goal was to take this back for this uh, archtop guitar that I'm working on and thickness it, get it all like thickness, because I had uh, the arch already established. Been working on that for a while. Rough thickness the inside, and the last step here really is for me to just take my, my calipers and stuff and just get this down to the final thickness and you know like get everything moving and flexing the way it should so that I can glue this to the back or glue the back to the sides of the guitar. And um, as I picked it up to do it and get things set up for the day, some little voice inside me um, just gave me this little prompting, this little subtle nudge and basically just said, hey, you know what? That arching on that back can be refined just a little bit more. So go for it, you know? And so I did. I stopped what I was planning to do and I spent that extra time going over this. And, and I still have a tiny bit more to do maybe, but I'm pretty close now. Um, but I just thought it might be worth turning the camera on and sharing this with you guys. For number, number one, um, I started this little vlog kind of experiment a month or two ago, and, and I haven't made another one yet since. So I thought, man, this might be an interesting thing to share, show you what I'm up to, and, uh, and share what I've been thinking about. Because I think um, what, I, what I'm going to explain pretty quickly here in just in a second is um, it's a key. It's a key for me. I mean, it's something that's really important to me. And, and that is basically to listen to, well, well, okay, a couple of things. Let me break it down before I jump into that. Number one, the first step is, and this is just a discipline that I think you need as an artist in general, whether you're making guitars or writing a book or anything else. It's that all these things in life want to um, box you in, say that from 9 a.m. to 10.15, you're gonna get X, Y, and Z done and you better fit it into that box. And a lot of times creativity doesn't work that way. At least my creativity doesn't work that way. And what I did today um, went, went completely against that. And, um, but in order to be able to um, kind of embrace that, you have to be able to get the, you have to have the, cultivate the discipline of listening and, and really getting yourself quiet and still. I think that's one of the key things about guitar making for me is I work, the battle isn't to um, flawlessly execute the design. I mean, that's important and that's a challenge because there's so many things, as you guys know. You guys in the Luthier's Edge, my students who are building your guitars and you guys in the Art of Luthery, um, who are probably making your guitars or considering making guitars. Um, there's a lot of variables. It's challenging. It's so rewarding and it's so fun. But um, just the flawless execution alone is not the hardest thing, I don't think. I think the hardest thing and the most, maybe the most rewarding thing because it applies to all the areas of your life is to develop the discipline and the skill of, of pushing off all the noise of your life that everything, everybody's trying to put in and pull your attention and, and make it so noisy in there from the social media and all that other stuff, you know? And to, to quiet all that down to the point where when your schedule is full and your day is booked and busy and the timeline is tight, um, that you're still able to, to hear that tiny little leading that says, you know what? You could take a little extra time and take this from good to great or from great to inspiring and amazing. And then, to, and then step two is to force yourself to take that time and actually do it. And um, I think that's really important. And I think it's, it's, um, it's sometimes it's, it's the um, adding up of all those little moments. For me anyway, I feel like when I'm building a guitar, there's all these little moments where I will indulge my creativity in that time that is totally like, there's no way I should take, I shouldn't take that much time extra to do it. But when I, when I do, it becomes this sort of like spark of creativity, this seed um, 
this beautiful theme, those little bitty bits of refinement that happen on all these different parts. Maybe it's the neck needs an extra day of just fussing with little details and just getting that place of peace. And um, then they all come together at the end and suddenly the guitar just has this extra quality. And not only does the work have that extra quality, but I could have overridden that, um, that little leading to spend a little extra time, just a couple hours, just, you know, fine tuning and just doing little things, not taking off a lot of wood, just little subtle adjustments and everything. But what I'm looking for is that moment where I just get a click and all of a sudden I know, ah, that's it. I'm ready to move on. And just that knowing inside me is so valuable and it's so peaceful and it's just such a good way. And it really feels weird when you let your schedule and stuff push you to override that and just keep forcing through. And um, anyway, that's kind of my <laughs> the thought I wanted to share with you guys today. So I hope that helps you. I hope it uh, makes you think a little bit and um, maybe encourages you to, to you know, take that little bit of extra time, find a way to, to squeeze it in there. And uh, for me, I think it really is worth it and it's really valuable and I think it really pays off in the end and in the long run. And in how good you feel as a person, as an artist, that you know that that guitar or whatever it is you're working on is your absolute best and every bit of your like authentic self, your heart, um, is in there and you did your best and, that, and that's pretty cool to me it's a good way to live and fun way to make guitars that's for sure so hope you guys enjoyed this and uh, I'll check back in again soon so make sure you're subscribed and stuff if you're not and I uh, hope you enjoy the rest of your day and I'll see you guys next time mm -hmm.